Okay, and at this point, we're gonna open up the uh, 10 gallon tank or the 40L. And once again, we have it on its side, this side up. We open that side up. Inside, we're gonna move it over to its side a little bit. Put it back up here where it shows this side up. I'm gonna tilt it now. I've got the flaps that I just opened up. Open them on up. We're gonna open the flaps so the wings are on out. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit to bring the bottom wing underneath it. I'm just gonna pick it up on its side. Here we have this side up again. We're gonna open up the sides as it shows here. Same way. with this side up, and this is what you'll be seeing. These are the legs that we're gonna put a set aside for the distiller, along with the legs is your sight gauge, which will be right along with it, or your faucet gauge. On the side of the same tank each side, you're gonna find these components again. These are your legs. Same with the opposite side. Now we're gonna turn this over on its side. And we're gonna pull it back out. And we'll pull it on out. And as we open it up and put it on its side, you'll see that we have, that we have some nuts here. And what we want to use is a 7 16 wrench. And there's four on this side and four on the other. And we'll just simply take one off. And you want to set these off to the side because you'll be needing them again. So it'll be a total of eight of these sets. So we'll put it on over here. And we'll just take the rest off here in a second. I used some of my packaging from before to set this up and turn it on its side as you can see. Also I'm referencing back to the uh, four uh, nuts that we've taken off on each side. So we have eight sets here aside. So let's not forget about those. Okay, so the next step we're gonna do after we've placed our distiller, over here, as you can see, we've used some of our packaging before to set that on and secure it. It's up over the side of the edge here. You may not be able to see that, but it's right there. And now we're gonna start unpacking uh, this particular portion of uh, the shipment. Now, as we started unpacking things, you're gonna see these are the items that we have. And you'll see, I just want you to take a look at them right now. And we'll get, and as we go through this, you'll see exactly where they belong. But please note these components. Okay, when you take a look at the items, you're gonna see there's four components that kind of look like this. Okay, we're gonna get these. We're gonna, we're gonna set up this one side for you uh, with the understanding that the other side is gonna be set up uh, just, just like it. Uh, the tank is upside down. You're gonna pull this component, and there's four of them. And you'll know if it's the right component if you get right up here and they fit just like this. 
There's four of them because we're doing one half of it, and we're setting this right here as well. Okay, then we have these two, four legs such as this. We're gonna just pick them on up, take a look at them, remembering that this is upside down. With the larger hole, being put at the bottom at this point in time. Let's just do this to hold it together at this point. And we're going to get the other side of it. So you'll see that you'll know right away if they fit or not by seeing that the holes line up. We're going to set this on here like this. We're going to secure it so it doesn't move around with these end caps. And we're going to do the same for the bottom two. And we all, all we need to do is then just tighten these sides. And we're done with this side. And we're just going to reciprocate the same thing on the other side. Now we've got, now remember, we're, we put the other side on and we're ready to go past that. If, take a quick look to see the items that we have left here. So we have the legs with casters, the arms with casters, and we have these two. We're going to pick these two on up and we're going to set these up so that the holes are up here in this direction. Here's the other one. The hole is set up like this. We can be careful with that. We're going to get, we're going to do one side as we did the other. We're going to get uh, the set of casters here and we're going to set them across in this in this formation. When you take a look at them, always make sure everything is lined up. It makes things a lot easier for you uh, when you uh, put them on in. So we'll line this up here. We'll get a second one of these. This is what we have at this point. Now if you can remember at the start, we had four uh, bolts and, excuse me, eight bolts and washers that we had set aside over here to this side. We're going to get two of them now. We're going to set these up here like this. We're going to get the bolts and washers that we put aside initially. Now this is where we're going to use them. We're going to set it up like this. And I found the easiest way to do it is to kind of meet them up like this, push them on up, hold them together, just turn it in that fashion and of course tighten it up. You're going to get the other one, do the same thing, you're going to set it up like this, you're going to hold this, you're going to tighten the top, you're going to line it up. And do the same here and tighten it on up. And again, you can tighten this up again with a little tool as such. We're set up with this side. And then you do the exact the same thing with this leg on the other side. And you'll have your legs set up. It's just that easy. Now, as you can see, we've got all the four legs in. Pretty easy, wasn't it? Now take a look at this. This is what you'll be later on if you want a demand pump to deliver to a remote location. This is where it'll be connected to and we'll, it'll be delivered to a remote location. So now let's set it up and put the tank on top. Okay, now that we've got this turned right side up, this is the cover to your reserve tank. So there's a little nut and bolt here which you unscrew it may be tighter. You might need a little bit of a tool to do that. There's some instructions here with that as well. We're gonna set that aside. As you can see, in order to get this off, you have to slip it back and forth. You just can't pull up on it. Time, we're just going to take it off and set it, set it right there at this point. We can get it total, totally out of our way and set it up here. Also, as you're looking at this, you're going to see that this is your micro switch, uh, uh, switch in this particular component, which uh, helps determine how high the water level is or how low it might be. And basically, in shipment, it's really tied down so it doesn't bounce around or rattle. So you have to make absolutely sure that anything that's tying this up is taken off so that this can now move freely. Because before this point, you really didn't want it to move freely. 
Now we just take that off and we can throw that away. And this is what you see here. In here, there's a float ball as the water goes on up. In this direction, it reaches a certain point. It actually triggers your upper boiling chamber and does not allow water to come in. As it goes down, it's demonstrating that it has a, water, a capacity to hold water and it'll demand water and your distiller will go in production. So you have to make sure that this is going up and down. We're not gonna put that cap back on because now we're gonna put on the float gauge and faucet. We're gonna get the washer and we're gonna screw that on nice and tight all the way back. This component again will be on end up being on the outside of your distiller. This particular component will end up being on the inside, and I said distiller, I should have more accurately said reserve tank. This will be in your reserve tank. We're gonna do the same thing as we did before and kind of loosen it up to make sure that it's nice and smooth and it goes on nice and tightly. This component right now, we don't need to pay too much attention to at this point in time, but you can see that that moves up and down. Okay, so I'm gonna unscrew this. So we'll start here and we'll tighten it as much as we possibly can with my left hand, which you can't see. And I'm turning that. This is at about uh, nine o'clock. And I'm clamping down with my left hand and I'm using the faucet as leverage, holding it onto the faucet and not putting any stress on the side gauge. If I put stress here, I'm gonna break it. And I always tell people, put a little water in there if you want to test it and just back it up a little bit and tighten it one more time. I think that'll be just perfect on a test, but always test it with a little bit of water to make sure you're just fine. You have this component now, you're gonna lift this up. As you can see, there's a little donut hole up here. You're gonna pull it back and you're gonna set it right in there. Now that we've completed that, there's a nut on the uh, reserve tank lid. We're gonna take that off, set it aside. There's a black knob here, which we're gonna place on it. That black knob controls the swing lever. Remember, it has to be a little bit loose. You're gonna slide it in. You can't just put it in. You've gotta slide it in, slide it back making sure it's secure and squared away. When you tighten this up, you actually pull up as you tighten it down. So you're actually pulling up on this. The wing that's on the bottom, which you can't see, is being drawn up. You're getting pressure on it. It now closes, and it's a nice secure cap on your reserve tank. And that's and we're set to go now with our reserve tank. Now all we have to do is put our production tank on top of that.